Some of the tar pits have been emptied of fossils and long since built on. But here, at pit 91, even after 90 years, excavations are still throwing up surprises. With over two million bones, you might think that they had found enough. But these finds are not just for public display. It is often only when a huge volume of evidence is amassed that something unexpected comes to light. Two species of bison have been recovered from the tar. Even from the first few bones, we can tell much about their lives. They were considerably larger than modern bison. The males were not only bigger than the females, but they also had massive horns. This is all strong evidence that the males were built to fight. Bison are also one of the commonest finds at La Brea. Over 300 died here. Once these bison fossils were aged by looking at their teeth, a remarkable pattern emerged. The teeth of these bison fit very neatly into four distinct age groups, each separated by exactly 10 months. This means that bison were only ever trapped in these tar pits during two months of each year. There are two possible explanations. Either the tar pits were only active during those months or the bison only visited La Brea for a short period as part of an annual migration. These theories can be cross-examined using the remains of other common victims, horses. Two kinds of horse have been recovered from the tower. After bison, they are the most abundant herbivore. And horses of all ages have been found. So the tar pits were killing year round and the bison must have been migrating across America all those years ago.